Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 109 of our trek, and yesterday we came to understand that life is like flying in a jet. If the plane loses cabin pressure, then you must put on your mask first so that you can assist others. It is the same way in all areas of life. We need to take care of ourselves so that we will have the ability to assist others. Today we want to learn how to prevent our lives from becoming like a garbage truck. In celebration of our 100th day of our Wisdom Trek, please check out wisdom-trek.com and sign up for the free Wisdom Trek t-shirt drawing that will be taking place on October 5th. We will be giving away 7 t-shirts at that time. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's amazing how quickly the hours rush by each day. I realize that we are making progress on the various projects that we are working on, but there never seems to be enough hours in each day. And that's how Life Trek is. We slowly and deliberately continue on climbing toward the summit one step at a time. We do know that if we continue to follow the trail each day, that we will reach our destination eventually. So what is slowing you down today? As we head out of our camp today, we notice that the garbage bins are overflowing onto the ground and there's garbage strewn all around it. We comment to each other that we sure hope the garbage truck picks it up soon. What a mess it is. It makes us think about what is the purpose of the garbage truck. Its function is to pick up other people's smelly and gross garbage and take it somewhere else and dump it. This reminds me of a story of how, if we are not careful, that our lives can become like a garbage truck. The following is a true story which was experienced by David Paulet on a business trip to New York City And it goes like this. I hopped into the back of the taxi and we took off to Grand Central Station. We were driving in the right lane and then all of a sudden, a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes. The car skidded. The tire squealed. And at the very last moment, our car stopped just one inch from the other car's back end. I couldn't believe it. But then I couldn't believe what happened next. The driver of the other car, the guy who almost caused a big accident whipped his head around and started yelling bad words at us. How do I know? Ask any New Yorker. Some words in New York come from a special face. And he even threw in a one-finger salute. I just couldn't believe it. But then here's what really blew me away. My taxi driver just smiled and waved at the guy. And I mean, he was friendly. So I said, why did you just do that? That guy could have killed us. And this is when my taxi driver told me what I now call the law of the garbage truck. He said, many people are like garbage trucks. They run around full of garbage, full of frustration, full of anger, and full of disappointment. And as their garbage piles up, they look for a place to dump it. And if you let them, they'll dump it on you. So when someone wants to dump on you, don't take it personally. Just smile, wave, wish them well, and move on. Believe me, you will be happier. Now this story should cause you to reflect. How often do you let other people's garbage truck dump their garbage on you? And how often do you transfer their garbage and spread it on to other people? At work? At home? On the streets? We should not do this. However, that's easier said than done. When we overreact to people who dump their garbage on us, we need to realize that what the other person does is his or her problem. But to the degree that we overreact, that is our problem. To react in a Christ-like manner, it is imperative that we resolve our garbage. If we don't, we will forever be allowing others to control our moods and trigger our unresolved problems. Another story I would like to relate is after teaching the Beatitudes in the fifth chapter of Matthew's book of Good News, Jesus covered several other areas of teaching, one of which was how we should treat others who have mistreated us. And this is taken from Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. You have heard the law that says, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends his rain on the just and the unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even the corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even the pagans do that. But you are to be perfect, even as the Father in heaven is perfect. So how often do you let other people's garbage pollute you and change your mood? Do you let a bad driver, a rude waiter, curt boss, or an insensitive employee ruin your day? 
The mark of a successful, which is to mean a wise or mature person, is how quickly he or she gets back to his or her focus on what is truly important. The best leaders know that they have to be ready for their next meeting. The best salespeople know that they have to be ready for their next client. And the best parents know that they have to be ready to greet their children with hugs and kisses, no matter how many garbage trucks they might have faced that day. All of us know that we must be fully present and at our best for the people that we care about. The bottom line is that successful people do not allow their lives to become garbage trucks. What about you? What would happen in your life, starting today, if you let more garbage trucks just pass you by? The author of the story above, David Pole, came up with the No Garbage Truck Pledge, and it goes like this. I do not accept garbage in my life. When I see garbage trucks, I do not take them personally. I just smile, I wave, I wish them well, and I move on. I do not spread garbage to others. I am not a garbage truck, and I do not accept garbage in my life. So it is important that our lives are not like a garbage truck, but instead we free our minds, control our anger, and move on. And as we move on, please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And tomorrow we will learn how to tame your anger. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, YouTube, or at wisdom-trek.com. If you enjoy our daily doses of wisdom, these little nuggets we consume each day, I encourage you to take the time to invest in yourself in these three ways. Invest with your time in improving Wisdom Trek by leaving your name, email address, and a comment on our website so that we can provide you with the wisdom and insights that best fit your needs. Number two, invest in yourself by listening to your seven minutes of wisdom through the Wisdom Trek podcast each day. And the best way to do this is to subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher and have it downloaded to you automatically. And third, invest in the lives of others by sharing with your family and friends in person or online to journey with us on our Wisdom Trek. And if you haven't done so already, please leave us a rating at iTunes or Stitcher so that we'll gain more exposure for others to join us on our Wisdom Trek. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.